Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 5 of our Feed the Beast Neotech series. Today guys, I want to hop right into finishing up this LVH, or at least trying our best to do. However, I do have unfortunate news to bring up first. There was supposed to be a build time lapse at the start of this video with a small voiceover portion about what I was building and why I'm building it. However, the replay file just will not load. This is my first time using the replay play mod i'm using a neoforge port of it and it's the first time i'm using it since probably 2016 and it just simply didn't work the recording for some reason there's an error with sophisticated backpacks if i'm able to recover it at some point i will try to upload it maybe as an unlisted video and throw it in the comments or something however straight ahead of us i have a unfinished building as i am glad i stopped building because i wasn't sure uh what the replay would look like so i stopped building went to the replay to see what it looks like and it was correct so we have a half finished factory so i'll just head over here and show you guys what i've gone ahead and built so far it's once again not finished and this is not my build i will make that very clear i did edit it uh, i made the interior myself this is a partially finished schematic i completely did the interior myself however the exterior is a slightly modified version of a brick factory schematic i found online i will link it in the description below however i have changed out all the blocks in creative mode and i've gone ahead and pretty much set it up all of myself what we're going to do is i'm just going to pop over to the creative world and show you what the build looks like finished and what we'll be building on this area and my plans for it so here we are with the finished build in my creative world now this is pretty simple it is just a brick factory i've gone ahead and done the full interior myself i've changed out almost all of the blocks or blocks that are in our pack they, they were vanilla minecraft blocks however i do prefer having different varieties of bricks rather than other things and i really enjoyed the look of this factory it's exactly what i'm going for and we have one paste in the sky for some reason not sure and i also had a test factory that i was building myself based off this one and then i realized that wasn't going to work so then i pasted the schematic and then edited it myself however this is the factory we're going to be building it's a pretty large factory i'm going to say this is specifically for the lvh i'm going for a brick industrial revolution type factory and then we're going to slowly scale up as we progress through the ages mv might be in here i'm not sure but then once we get to ultra voltage and fusion reactors we're going to have like a high-tech laboratory maybe built into the mountains over there I'm not entirely sure what we're doing anymore. My old plans from the base just simply aren't going to cut it. However, in here, I want all of my coke ovens just placed on the ground down here, and then some boilers in the corners, and then all of our machinery will be up on these upper floors, but all of our power generation will be down here. So that's coke ovens, boilers, uh, what else? We're going to have the turbines. Everything's going to be down here, and then we're going to probably run pipes up through the wooden posts and cover them up with the bricks as usual, and then run pipes pipes all throughout the bottom of here do all of our machines have little sections on each brick wall separated for mass rating whatever we need and this is going to be our lv factory so that is the plan however i hope the next time i continue building this area that the replay will actually work and we can actually get a good look at it but for now unfortunately that just didn't happen so this is actually what i'm going to be end up building on our world now it might not be done this episode and i might finish it this episode i'm not entirely sure I'm going to try again with the replay mod and see if it actually works. If not, it's going to unfortunately be an off-camera building. However, this is our build. That's our plans. Let's hop back over to our survival world and start getting into the LV age. Now that we're back here in our survival world, the first thing we actually have to do is set up proper power generation. Now, unfortunately, what we have over there isn't going to cut it. We do have a decent supply of coal dust from our quarry, luckily. However, that's not a permanent power source by any means. We want to move into towards large turbines or sorry large boilers and also a permanent source of coal so what we're going to be doing is making a steam boiler the large one hopefully eventually maybe we'll see well, for now we're going to work on the regular steam boiler here and as the quest does suggest it says use steve's carts and so we'll be making a steve's carts tree farm just up on that hill over there so i'm going to start getting everything ready for this and then we'll go ahead and start building Now we should be able to figure out somewhere to put this boiler itself. Now I'm kind of thinking the middle of the area, like the middle of the floor works pretty nice. 
I just want to see what this guy's supposed to look like. Okay, it is a 3x3. Three three. Perfect. You know what? We're going to do something like that then. And I'll do two up directly in the middle here. Well, there's not really center, is there? Oh, there is. So we'll do center, center, and we'll do two up right here. Oh, no, it can go one down. My bad. Something like that? Perfect. Wait, why did it say I only needed... Did I miss to read that? Yeah, it says six heatproof machine casings. And you definitely need nine. Interesting. Yeah, I only made six. Okay, that's just an incorrect quest, I assume. It's fairly simple. It's... <laughs> Yeah, it says you only need six for this, but you definitely need more. I guess the inputs can go at the bottom, right? If I hold these up, yeah, they go on the bottom. Okay, never mind. I take that back. So we'll do all of them on the back, so there's nothing showing when you walk in the door. But at the same time, we'll probably access them from the floor anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. We'll do item input, we'll do fluid output, and we'll do fluid input, like so. And then in the middle is these two guys. That should be everything. Nice. Large steam boilers up and running. So yeah, I think that looks fine in the middle there. What we'll do is we'll do four turbines here. And then we'll do four turbines on that side. And then we'll probably do coke oven, coke oven, like just coke ovens lined up in the back maybe. I don't I don't know. We'll figure it out. Or we might do eight steam turbines somewhere. We'll, we'll see. But yeah, we'll, we need big coke ovens like the ones we have over there. But at the same time, these do those do require steam, the ones we're using inside. So it's most likely the fact that we go with the coke ovens from Immersive Engineering. Even though they are slower, they don't require any steam. So we might go with the Immersive Engineering coke ovens just because they're easier. And then, yeah, we'll have them all inputting into here. And I might want to change this out for a steel input hatch. We'll see. But for now, bronze item input hatch is fine. Now, from what I gathered from the Steve Cart's quest is that this is literally all just iron, redstone, and coal with like wood and cobblestone mixed in. So this should be pretty easy to craft. There shouldn't be any complications. However, we do need reinforced metal, which is stabilized metal, which is a weird recipe. It's a bunch of raw hardener. Oh, it's diamonds and obsidian. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I never realized this. So yeah, we do need this, I guess, which is four. How many do you get? You get one per, right? No, you get two per. Okay. So it's three, seven. So we need four diamonds. Or is it? Yeah. Yeah, we need four diamonds. Okay, that's not too bad. We can definitely make that. But you also might get this from a quest reward. Doesn't seem like it. Never mind. Yeah, you definitely don't get it from a quest reward. But we'll make these, or we'll make everything here basically, and then we can finish this quest off. And then we'll make a basic tree farm with Steve's cards, and that should power all of our coke ovens no problem. Okay, now that should be everything for the Steve's Cards engine. I should bring some saplings with me. Spruce should be fine. And maybe some bone meal if I have any bones left. I have a bit of bones left, yeah. We'll figure it out as we go. No big deal. Throw this stuff back in one of our things. Brought some chests with us just in case. I've never actually used Steve's Cards since mm, probably 2014. Maybe 2015 at the best. So it's been a very, very long time. Almost a decade at this point. It's crazy to say that. But we should be fine to set this up just up on that hill over there now i don't actually know how much room this is going to take up but i will place down some chests here throw all that in and then accept all the rewards check all that back in there and this doesn't seem like it's too big it gave us 48 rails it also gave us the limited acacia iron barrels which means yeah it's only allowed to fit one item in it which are really cool things for sophisticated storage we haven't messed around with since we did use the thermal not thermal expansion what are they called the other one so i actually didn't read the quest properly and forgot to add the upgrade modifiers onto the cart assembler but hopefully it's not too late because yeah you just have to shift right click these on and if i throw some coal in there hopefully 
yeah okay this guy's going to take 11 and a half minutes to actually craft but hopefully our cart keeps the upgrades we'll see if not we'll just have to make another one which isn't too bad it's only a few things so if we take the few things we have here i'm going to set up a small tree farm and we can hopefully get this guy going now i shouldn't need anything else other than this so i'm going to clear out a small area and i probably should have brought some dirt with me oh i do have some dirt thank goodness this is from when i was clearing out all the granite from our granite mine which is if i show you just down over here you can see where i've excavated this is where i got all my granite from since all of these patches here are all granite so that's where i got all my granite from and this is where i got all of my clay from in my terracotta for the bricks so i was doing a lot of off-camera digging earlier but yeah this should be pretty easy to clear out an area for hopefully our cart is done by now nope it still has five minutes left well i did clear out this entire section up here so i guess i can start placing down the rails where our cart will be going so the detector rail needs to interact with the cargo manager which interacts with the external distributor i believe not entirely sure we'll figure that out and then a simple rail track around to harvest the trees i guess we'll see do something like that gave us one extra rail not a big deal and ooh. oh okay i see so this is how we give it resources i actually don't know i i might have to look up a guide and come back but we'll figure this out should be pretty straightforward i'd assume now this should be finishing up here any second now three two one and our cart is very interesting looking however we can edit this guy i believe in the future if i throw it back in the cart assembly part up here maybe not i don't know however cinder troll coal engine basic woodcutter side chests and so on so if i grab it from here now with our cart down i can throw in some saplings oh no i want did that work i don't even know if that worked okay it's planting good mount high priority yeah i have no clue if this is working because it's not cutting down the trees maybe it only cuts down trees on the inside like on the outside sorry like everything in the middle doesn't actually matter because like that actually makes sense you know what i mean so i'm gonna cut these guys down and replace them on the edge because like that actually just makes sense you know what i was doing doesn't really make sense <laughs> All right, let's do something like this. And I'll bone meal one to see what happens. Yes, there we go. Now it's cutting. Okay, yeah. I mean, that it makes sense entirely. I was just incorrect in what I was doing. So we've pretty much got our Steve's cart engine here working. However, we can actually upgrade our thing by throwing it inside this cart modifier upgrade that we got. And I'm going to add solar panel upgrades on it because these guys, you can make the upgrade solar panel and this will generate power while in the sun. So we're going to make one of these and also make the solar engine, I guess. I'm not entirely sure, maybe, we'll see. This guy seems pretty easy. It's just glowstone, redstone to make these guys and a bit of diamonds. And yeah, we'll make this, head back to the nether, and then see what's going on. I haven't actually shown this off, but our nether spawn is in a toxic keep biome. And this place just isn't very friendly, as the slimes that spawn here just poison you and also, like, knock you back or something. So it's a very dangerous biome to traverse. However, it has allowed us to grab slime balls when we need them. But this is where I'm going to get my glowstone. And I do have a magnet upgrade on my backpack, so that's why I'm not worried about this falling in the void. Yeah, we got 43 already and there we go our upgrade solar panel done and then we can replace these so that we don't have to worry about coal at all in our tree farm and also if it only runs in daytime it's not that big of a deal so i think this will be a great fine upgrade hopefully we'll see so i'm going ahead and just making a brand new cart I don't know why I wasn't able to remove the seat from it, and someone will probably let me know that it's very easy to do so. However, this guy should run permanently, and then we can pipe the wood out into some coke ovens. And then, yeah, we'll get going with this once our cart's done. And finally, our second cart should be done here any second. This is a big a process that I was not expecting where did my card go okay there it is so like i said i was not expecting to be doing this this is probably more than i needed to do let's give it a little shove and out of power oh there we go now our tree farm is actually done we can move on to getting power generation going so what i want to do is chuck some of this in here so we can actually repair the tool when it's ready however what i want to do is pipe all of the spruce logs into coke ovens down there and then we can start pumping them into our boiler so if i'm planning this out i want coke ovens 
like this beside each other. So we'll do double Coke ovens. Wait, no, sorry. So yeah, we'll do four Coke ovens on this side, four Coke ovens on that side, and then we'll probably do steam turbines on the backs maybe i'm not entirely sure however that should be pretty easy to pump all into the input hatches on this side we'll do it all underground because you can access these guys from underneath if we do it this way actually oh wait no so we'll do output output and output so i'll import these all into a chest we'll use this guy as well oh uh, that's the fluid input so that'll be for coke right here we'll do a tank here for creosote eventually creosote tank like so and we'll do an output for steam so if i go ahead and make all of these guys into coke ovens and what i want to do is make a water input because we for some reason didn't do that i've gone ahead and made a few more or one more water tank here and this guy just simply needs two inputs of water so what i'll do is i'll grab some stone and bucket mode on as you see he lights up he's working do blue fluid pipe for water input like so and since i don't have another thing i have to do this like this and we'll set you to output you to input and this guy's getting water now Perfect. So he now has water and he will get coal into here. So we'll do input like so. We won't talk about the structural integrity of this place considering I'm breaking underneath my wooden beams. So this guy solely wants to be an input for charcoal. I wonder if I can drag it in. I probably can't, but we'll see. Can I drag it in? Oh, I definitely can. Nice. So this guy's only going to input charcoal, and then we'll set all of these guys here to extract charcoal specifically. And do I have my pipe configurator on me? I don't. Oh, I do. Perfect. So we'll set outport, uh, export, and this, and then we'll do a shift right click, copy pipe config, and then we'll just right click it onto all of these guys and now what i have to do is grab fluid pipes and do the exact same thing for creosote and if we do output here and do creosote only so now if we just test this with some wood eventually imagine this actually gets pumped over oh actually no we can't test it just quite yet i do need to set up a steam tank so i went ahead and made the requirements for a large tank which is this quest down here it basically can just hold a bunch of steam for us and with this output fluid output oh i have these backwards fluid output in the middle input on the bottom okay there we go so if i do a large tank in the middle right here what does this guy look like okay it's one block down so we have to bring it up and i'm pretty sure these guys are expandable i don't see why they wouldn't be might be incorrect on that but maybe they work like uh any other tank we'll see however that should be the structure complete yeah and it holds 1.7k okay yeah so you can definitely change the structure shape nice now we don't need to currently worry about that however i do need tank hatches on the top and bottom well, I guess I probably need three tank hatches, but for now we'll just do two. I will do an input and an output like so. Oh, oh can I use the bottom glass? Oh, I definitely can. Nice. But for now we'll do it like this. All right. So once again, trial and error done. This guy should hold steam in the meantime. And if I put a bunch of, ouch my feet, a bunch of wood, which we should have plenty of. I can't see the item render from here. 286, not too bad. But I, however, I might want more carts in the future. We'll see. But for now, I will do a stack in each, or sorry, half a stack in each. Now let's see how much steam we can produce with this guy. So this guy's full of water. No problem there. It does accept a redstone control module. But I don't think we need to worry about that. This guy should only accept coal. This guy should only accept creosote. He is auto pulling. This guy is auto pulling. Fluid export doesn't actually matter as long as this guy is set to export mode. Yep, set to export and this guy is set to import. Yes, it is. Perfect. So for now, obviously the coal plantation or the tree plantation isn't being auto imported over. However, I will set up a round robin distribution with the pipes eventually, probably in the back 
end of each one and then we'll wrap it do the back do it around wrap the back and then probably set up like a buffer right here that goes straight out and then simply these eight should be enough for our single bronze boiler however i i'm not sure we might have to expand we might need a bigger tree farm i might even start using the coal dust from our quarry way over there and just make another input hatch for quarry dust for now like a temporary not quite sure but we'll come back once this starts producing steam and see how it's going it's oh it's already producing steam wow that was fast oh wow yeah it already has a decent amount of steam in there that's pretty good wow cool we're producing steam already so that was just one tick of creosote oh double tick okay so that's two creosote and one coal it has 16 coal and it's pumping through the creosote at the moment okay no this actually might be enough not too bad mind you this is only using the creosote at the moment but it seems to be pretty stable and it's at a pretty good temperature and we have 418 buckets of steam already you know what this seems like a pretty solid system now obviously this isn't going anywhere we don't have any power set up yet so i will pump these guys into power uh, turbines eventually and then hopefully get the, the second floor built so we can start working on the machines of this age however we did need to get power generation built up and well we now have the start of our power generation in our factory however we don't actually have any machines so that will be something we do in the next episode now this episode definitely was a weird one i won't lie it was kind of all over the place it's probably on the short end once i finish editing it all however i hope you guys enjoyed nevertheless if you did like it leave a like on the video if there was something you learned or if you want to teach me something about the steve's cards mod or modern industrialization or if my setup is completely inefficient which it probably is i didn't really do the math on it leave it in the comments below and if you don't want to miss any future uploads hit that subscribe button thanks for watching everybody till next time bye bye